G'day guys, welcome back to Lost to Recovery. Today, you wanted it, it is here. I'm teaming up with Dan from Down Under Dan Diving. G'day Michael, mate. We have got a cracker of a day to explore our World War II tunnel. This tunnel actually goes back to the first fleet. The rum raiders used to come here, hide the rum there. It was taken over in World War I and used by the military. And then in World War II, did some renovations in it. And it actually is the main access point to what's called the beehive bunkers it's up in the headland there the emergency exit back in world war ii a couple of midget japanese subs come into the harbor having a look around yeah we actually sunk one and it's still sitting out in about 80 meters of water you've got to have special permission to go dive on that yeah working on that as we speak dan's actually got some pretty good contacts as well i'm diving with you man dan's out there he cleans up all the trash and we do get to go to some some pretty awesome locations we've got the hobie i do suffer from claustrophobia tight spaces see how i go is it dark down there it is dark but i do have some really good lights um, to light up the <laughs> tunnel as we go through yeah if i just see a box i'm um, completely surrounded pitch dark I, I don't know how i'm going to handle it we got a world war ii bunker used for contraband back in the day i wonder if there's still some rum down there oh i never know i'm so stoked let's gear up and get out there we got the police. Can we outrun them? Oh, not in this thing. <laughs>
that going through that tunnel, that was the hardest thing that I've done for a while. Yeah. And it is so narrow, my claustrophobia was kicking in, freaking out. But this is insane, guys. World War II bunker, we did it! Woo! Check out Down Under Dan Diving, his original video. The bad man, he came in here by himself. That is just insane. Nah, this is awesome. This was all what? Handmade, chiseled. Yeah. All chiseled by hand. The only way to get him Today. Mate, it was an absolutely cracker of a time. Water was nice and clear. Found a few little treasures out in front of the tunnel. Had an awesome day, Michael. I'm glad I was able to share it with you, mate. Dan, thank you for taking me out there today. I did have a little bit of the, the trouble of the claustrophobia. It was very tight in the tunnel. The surf was just picking up. I was getting thrashed around. Your wetsuit got a little ripped up. When we got to the other end of the tunnel, I could just see a staircase. I'm just thinking, 
we're all geared up. How are we going to get up this staircase? And he's just like, Michael, we've got to time it. When the waves come in, we've got to jump up 30 kilograms of scuba gear up there on my back. And then I had to get up on these rocks. Like, there's a big difference from your hopper system to the scooter, isn't there? Oh, there is. Yeah, compared to my little blue Nemo <laughs> and the scuba gear, there's about 30 kilo difference. But mate, as you saw, with this dive here, you just could not have taken that in there. There's just no way. Nah, no way possible. Yeah. Too, too deep, too long, just couldn't do it. I had an absolute awesome time taking you out there with us. No Thank worries, you buddy. very much. We got another dive coming straight up. See you in the water, guys. Cheers. <laughs> That was just, I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a seal. <laughs> Tummy time. Didn't know I'd made up. Good boy, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> 